family, man. You got to take care of the family. Make sure the family's straight. So we already was talking about why we on vacation. Me and her go probably go out on a little date. My daughter probably most likely go come, depending on how she feels. Sometimes she want to go with us. Sometimes she be wanting to chill. So we'll see how she feeling once we make it out wherever we going because we haven't decided yet. And um, yeah, man, just stay tuned, man. We got a lot going on. And if y'all new to the channel, make sure y'all hit that like button. Make sure y'all hit that subscribe button. It's free, baby. Make sure y'all hit that notification bell so y'all could be notified when we dropping these vlogs, man. And make sure y'all comment. I appreciate y'all for watching. Stay tuned. Like I told y'all, the fan fan still down. Then ahead the BR mess with the colors, but the fuel pump is supposedly supposed to come in today. So hopefully that does so we can get back on the road with this. But I'm gonna jump back in her so I done cleaned it up. We finna head to BR. Stay tuned. Everything, but yeah, let me go ahead pull this car out. I finally got this thing out the garage, headed to my shop, and when I say finally, man, hopefully I get to go to this transmission shop today, bro. I let the car warm up. It took about a total of 15 minutes. I guess with the transmission warming up and stuff before it wanted to go in reverse or whatever. So that's something I really don't like. I'm gonna see how it do once I make it to the shop after driving it because I don't want to get caught up in no no jam or trying to get out of jam. You know what I'm saying? If I really get in tune with the car, start driving it because I'm not. I'm just really going from my shop probably to my grandmother's house and then back in the garage with it but I don't want to have to stop it like no corner stove or nothing and the car don't want to go in reverse when it's time to leave you know they got a lot of stuff going on in Baton Rouge right now uh, for the folks that ain't down here uh, they had like I want to say eight shootings in two days four people that got killed I think four or five out of the eight it's, it's been crazy and it's in like the area where I be at like Say for instance, where I go get my car washed at, they had a guy got killed one block or two blocks from there. Then they had a shooting last night, like on that same strip, Acadian, like two blocks from there where three people got shot. But they said, oh, um, I think all three of them in critical condition. They ain't say no names or nothing yet, but it's been a lot going on. But the dude that got killed on Acadian, like the day before yesterday, I knew his daddy and he was he was only like 25 year, years old. He was a junior. You know what I'm saying? It's just a lot, a lot going on, man, these youngsters. So I don't want to be stuck in no stove, in no jam, in this car. And y'all see how it look. And they suspect something, you know, and try to rob me or anything. I need to be able to get out that jam. So we go just um, do like I said, go from that, the garage to the shop, mess with Red, might go see Grams. And then, you know, I could kind of take my time pulling up out of, leaving out of Graham's driveway. But, yeah, we headed to the shop now. And I'm hoping I didn't mess up this front uh, driver rim on my way here. I hit a pothole and it sounded nasty. So, we'll check it out when we pull up at the shop and meet Red here and see what it's looking like. And 
again on once he get these belts on. I'm hopefully in time I'll be able to make it to this transmission shop because I need to get that fixed ASAP or even switch it out. And L, I just talked to him. He does have a uh, transmission. It's a 200 R. Somebody gave him with a motor, but he said I guess the guy bought the car and uh, really didn't even drive it, so he don't know what that motor do. I mean, that transmission does. Or oh, is it good? I can't even ask the guy he got it from, so I don't know. I might mess with it since it's already out and run through it and then put it in here. Or we'll see what the transmission shop say about this one first. You know what I'm saying? But stay tuned. I'll be pulling up at the shop for sure. Mess with these belts as you can see. Them things be dry riding. Good thing I made it over here in this um, AC belt. It's just on um, flopping a little bit at the bottom like it got slack in it. Yeah. These belts need to get changed. I don't want to be on side the road. No sir. So we go change all three of them. And if red feel good today, I might let them clean up under here. parts though with us so we can get all of them and just match them up while we there. But yeah, it's four belts on there. So we just left old Riley. Got the belts. These are the part numbers for the AC compressor and uh, the power stirring pump one. Those are the only two belts they had. I couldn't get the pollution pump one because they didn't have that one in stock. But uh, like I told Red, he could put that one on. That's the one I showed y'all that was dry right, it kind of cracked up. That's the first belt. So when I do eventually find it, we could just slide that one off and put the new one on. But we ain't feel like ripping and running all over, We're looking for just that belt. And then they hold us up because it's supposed to rain. As y'all can see, it's kind of cloudy out here. So we trying to hurry up and finish this. Then I'll be able to call on CarQuest, but we go clean up too. I end up buying some purple power and some transmission fluid to keep in the car. We go check, make sure it wasn't low, because that could have been the reason it took a long time to go in the gear. I did see something on my little cardboard under the car, but it didn't look like a lot. So I don't know. We go check the transmission fluid, make sure it isn't low, and I'm gonna keep some in the car. Just in case it is low, when I go get it out the garage, I can pull some in there and it'll kick in gear until we get that situated. But we go try to go to the transmission shop today if we have time also. And we gonna clean this thing off under the hood. I bought some purple power so we could spray it down. And uh, he already had some in his truck. And we'll probably go to the car wash or might go stop by Graham's house and bag up in the grass. And, see her and then spray it off over there so we'll figure it out stay tuned i'll show y'all the finished product once all the belts are on and we bought these are the belts that go around the compressor and the alternator not the oil power stern because we left that belt on there also because it didn't look 
too bad. We just ended up tightening it up. So, and they didn't have that one either. So good thing we didn't wrestle and take it off. But eventually we'll end up changing that one too. No big deal. But these are for the compressor belt and the alternator belt, the belt that goes around the alternator. So we got all the belts back on. As I said, we just got the compressor belt new, alternator belt new. The one that was messed up, we just put that back on there. That's the first belt that go on, so I ain't tripping. I'll find that once we moving around or when I'm off, I go to another O'Reilly AutoZone or something, Car Quest. I might get that when we go to Car Quest to go pick that fuel pump up if they got it. And um, the power steering one, we just left that one on. We ain't tripping. That one, that one was I just had changed colors a little bit, but it wasn't cracked up. So now we're gonna start it up, see how it go with this compressor click on now. Cause like I say, it had slack in it and that belt didn't look good. It was flopping at the bottom a little bit. Y'all could go look at the old video. Once I had put free on and stuff up in the compressor and we clicked it on, it did that. And on, um, now we finna see how it run it. Then Red say we go go clean up under the hood and he seen a uh, motor mount that looked like it was either broke or loose or something so after we clean up under the hood he go check that out we might try to sneak that in the day too i don't know we'll see stay tuned though we got, we got the new belts back on baby uh -huh. that compressor belt ain't flapping like it was Running good and smooth. Now we'll try to go clean. Smooth, smooth, yeah. clean up under here. Yeah, it was making a noise when I cut that compressor on from that belt. Yeah. It was flapping and stuff. Now it sounds good with the compressor on. It ain't making that crazy noise from that belt. And it definitely was the belt, guys. It wasn't the compressor. I knew that because you know, it'd be the bearings in the compressor. You could hear when it's going bad. It was the belt. It had a lot of slack on it. See on this one, a little bit is flapping, probably a little bit at the bottom. See how it gets jumping, up. but the other one had a lot of slack in it. This one here ain't as bad, and with the AC on, it's not making that much noise. Oh, yeah, we got motion now. We good now, yes, sir. So now we finna go, finna check this transmission fluid first, then we'll go clean up under the hood, man. Y'all stay tuned. Stay tuned, baby. Yes, sir. So we just leaving my shop. Headed by Graham's house. I, I get a two for one, get to see Graham's, and I pull up in her grass over there and let him clean up under the hood with the, like I say, using a purple power. I pull her hose pipe out so we don't get her concrete all nasty or whatever and then after that i called car quest see if that fuel pump ready for that infinity if it made it there yet because they had to order it and then we may go shoot back out by the house just depending on like i say the time if they got it the fuel pump we'll do that if not we'll just go on to the transmission shop off scenic highway over here they got one it's like not far from brown's house so we'll do that Stay tuned. Yeah, I know. Graham's talking about the grass. That grass will grow back. I don't want it on the concrete. I told you I put it on before. I ain't worried about not drinking. I think this fucking cap off and dry it out. That all be wrong with. Come here to mess with my car. And now this woman got us outside. We finna be pulling plants to the end of the street. Walking around the house, around the backyard to see the back of the house and how it look. Golly, a visit, a visit turned into work. <laughs> well, I came here because me and the mechanic was going to clean under the hood and came to see how she was doing. And now I done went from a mechanic apprentice to a bush hog, man. Call me if you need me, baby. Whew, she got me out of wind. Call me if y'all need me. Bush hog. Gator bush hog. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, we all it up a little bit. That fucking game bag. I can't it up. But we all it up a little bit of room with that. And we still got to mess with that motor mount, son. Yeah. Oh, 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 y
like you get out of here with it. It'll run way better. Yeah. You tried it with the AC off? Yeah. Uh, it ran straight? Nah, not really. He, he said when he was cleaning it, was idle, wasn't idle, right? So he tried to adjust it a little bit. He got right there, good. I made that motherfucking bracket make it But you say it keep bagging out? Nah, I made that bracket and make it out right there. I ain't worried about that. Yeah, it went pretty strong. I just don't like that little... You got to be high enough in this That's going to make everything run right. Right. Don't right. even want them distributors that ain't going to do shit. Yeah, I usually cover it up I with a bag. Because you don't know no better. <laughs> <laughs> that and the alternator, I usually I cover up. You don't know no better. Yeah, nah, he did it over here. I spray that bugger clean on the great game here. And it's going to eat it all over. Oh, yeah, here. all that oil that was on that valve cover, yeah, gas. It, it knocked it off all right. But if we had that real pressure washer, everything would be spotless, cuz. Man, be quiet, man. <laughs> that's that, yeah, that's that gray I like right there. Yeah. Got the play. I ain't got to worry about coming back on this side because I stay a good little ways and then he'll be already working on my car. You know, about time. About time on on. I'm trying to see about him getting behind me. But yeah, about time I get the part, get to him, he head to my house. I'm going to go put this car up. When I head there, he'll be halfway done doing it. If not, I already had a few pump in the infinity, but that's going to be on a separate vlog. I ran both of these. I'm talking about them together because I'm doing them kind of in the middle of each other. But, um, yeah, so that'll be another vlog when we go through the transmission. And I got something else coming. But I noticed also because we checked the fluid. The fluid was still full as I told him when I went and got it out the garage. I just seen a little bit on the cardboard. It wasn't much. But um, I guess it just takes a long time. Once the car warms up after me riding in it or whatever it's more it shifts more quicker in reverse then but i want it right like i told y'all they got a lot going on in the city so i don't need to be trying to pull up at the store i had to go to the store in this car and got to pull straight up in the parking spot or something and it take me three four five minutes to reverse and get out because um that's what i want to let y'all know i just went by graham's house and uh, i looked down the street where i just was at on a previous vlog if y'all looked at that one when I won a trophy in a Camaro, I was uh, by my partner and them in the hood. I jumped out on them messing with them with the trophy. So I'm coming down the street. I look down that street and the police got the street blocked off red tape. I'm not knowing what's going on. But late last night at that same house I was at in front of with the trophy messing with my partners and them, one of them got shot at the spot last night and they in ICU. So, you know what I'm saying? They got a lot going on in the city, man. So you just gotta move right and don't affiliate or be sitting around a person that got all kind of crazy stuff going on. You know what I'm saying? You know, if you do good business, you ain't got to worry about that. If you do bad business and be trying to jack people and all the extra stuff, yeah, you know how it's coming. You definitely know how it's coming down here. They y'all done heard about it on the news and songs. <laughs> youngsters ain't playing out here, man. Not just the youngsters, these older people, but them youngsters, most definitely, they ain't playing out here. So, 
Like I say, as long as you do good business and associate yourself with good people and don't do no messed up stuff and stay out the way, almost like how I'm saying, I done went on this side, seen Grams, hollered at my people, however, now I'm finna slide back, hurry up, put this car up and slide back on the other side was straight it. You know what I'm saying? They ain't even coming out there that far. Yeah, sorry to hold y'all up with all that talking. But yeah, I'm going to get back with y'all as soon as um, we get this part. And when I put this thing in the garage, I'm going to turn y'all back on. So we just pulled up. This a fuel pump, the old one, out of the Infinity QX70. Going to go on Car Quest and get this thing, man. Y'all stay tuned. Y'all stay tuned. So I just gave Red the part. He headed to the house now. We going to stop, get some gas in this thing. And go park it back in the garage. I don't know why when I first started up that oil light go come on and then it ended up going off. Red was thinking it could be the oil pump or something. I might end up changing that too before I end up selling it or doing whatever I gotta do. But we finna go top this gas off and then we're gonna park this thing and head to the house. Just got some gas. Get this thing up, and like I told y'all, once you drive it for a couple of minutes or two, that the oil might go out. But me and Red will check that too. If it's the oil pump, like I said, we'll end up changing that. Before I do what I'm gonna do, anybody put it in anybody else's hands or sell it or anything, I'm gonna make sure it's called running good. You know what I'm saying? And as y'all can see, my partner, this was the same guy when I pulled it under the car porch by Graham's house. Hit me up. He seen me leaving and he told me he wanted to buy it. He was in the car with his girl. Then he ended up hitting me up because he got a colors already with an LS in it. But um, he can't get it right. I guess they not tuning it right or, or something's off spec with the transmission or something because he done went through it and it's still not running right, he said. It got a stall in it and all kind of stuff. But he's saying he just want to sell that. They got a guy that already want to buy his and he go come get this one. So that's what he's saying. So we'll see. Might be around a minute. It might not. You know, a lot of people say stuff and don't do it. But we'll see what he's saying. Stay tuned. What's going on, fam? So I done made it to the spot, parked the car. And I would go bag it up in here so I didn't have that issue no more. But um, when I tried to come up that little hill, because we on the slant, it scrubbed bad. I couldn't even get it up. I'm talking about like the tiles was all the way under the back fender when I tried to reverse. So with that being said, I just pulled straight up ahead. But I know I just got to let the car warm up or whatever before it's able to go in reverse. It's still going in reverse but once it has to take a little time once the car warms up but um yeah we're gonna go ahead and close this video out i'm gonna head to the house red got the fuel pump he's gonna put it in the affinity that'll be on a separate video but um i appreciate y'all for tuning in uh and we got another update coming next time i pull this car out we're going directly to the transmission shop and i got something else i'm gonna do so if i don't get the transmission fixed I still got something else, something to do right before that. So, y'all stay tuned, man. I appreciate y'all for watching. If y'all new to the channel, make sure y'all like. Make sure y'all hit that subscribe button. It's free. Make sure y'all hit that notification bell so y'all be notified when I'm dropping these vlogs, man. Stay tuned. Stay tuned.